use our specialised telephone numbers to track inquiries through a specific promotion, or simply ask. But make sure you're able to get that, me those, that measurability because that allows you to measure the outcomes that you want to deliver. A marketing plan needs to include an implementation schedule. So identify the steps that are required for each action and ultimately knowing who is responsible and the resources that are required. Both the human resources in terms of personnel but also the financial resources. Once again, it comes back to timeframes. Identify each action that is required to achieve that strategy. If it's an event, look at uh, each step that is required to deliver that event. From uh, when posters need to be produced through to when invites to VIPs need to be issued to when the media needs to be contacted through to uh, the actual event itself. If you're seeking grants, find those relevant funding bodies and once again align it with the value that you're providing. If you're looking at media, the media is an audience for your event. Ultimately, it comes down to finding that relevant angle. We've covered events, but make sure that events are covered, that are planned in advance. And that implementation schedule is critical for events. It's not just around the event itself, it's what you do in the lead up to the event, and importantly, what you deliver after the event. If you have sponsors who assist in that event, Make sure that you interact with them after the event. Thank each of those sponsors. Provide an opportunity to distribute photographs or videos of the event. Treat those sponsors as uh, carefully as you did during the event so that you can hopefully recruit them should you uh, hold that event in the, the future. Where sponsorship ties in with event management is actually leveraging existing sponsors for future events. The more you keep those sponsors on side, the easier it is to get them in future years. Social media is around extending the reach of your online presence. Ensure that you integrate it with your website and do understand who it is that you want to reach. Ultimately, it's about utilising the right tools for the right purpose. And each of these might be outcomes that you've identified through your marketing strategy. Uh, in your implementation schedule, if you're looking at social media, it's around uh, actually identifying your content. What content will you actually d distribute on social media? What interactions do you want with that content? And using the right tools for the right purpose. If you want to build an online community, you'd use Facebook. If you want to del deliver video, you'd use YouTube. If you want to interact with a younger demographic, Instagram can be particularly useful. Marketing needs to respond to change. So compare results to expectation. Understand why outcomes deviated. What has changed? And is it actually a problem? If uh, results are different to your expectations, note that, but is it actually a problem in terms of what is actually being delivered? And then looking at uh, each of those three phases to recap, as I mentioned, marketing requires strategy. So undertake research to understand the markets that you want to reach. Know what it is that you want to achieve and plan your implementation. Be able to measure those results and be able to articulate any deviations that have occurred. Ensure that you're able to track results both online and offline. Happy to take uh, any questions uh, to conclude today's webinar. Hopefully I've had a chance to answer any feedback as it's come through, but this is now an opportunity to deliver on uh, any final questions that may, uh, people may have. Excellent, thank you for that. So yes, if anyone does have any questions, please feel free to type them down into the messages box in the bottom left hand corner. Um, and also, there's just, just bringing this up now, um, there's just a survey up here that we would like you to complete just in response to today's event. Um, thank you, Alex. Um, I'd just like to hand it over to you to wrap up while people are um, typing their questions away um, and also just provide some insights into the special offer that you would like to um, alert people to today. Fantastic. As part of uh, Seneca Marketing's uh, reason for existing, we believe that success starts with strategy. And uh, as you would have gathered through today's presentation, 
our core service is around strategic marketing planning. So looking at uh, how you can actually utilise uh, your strategic outcomes to deliver the results you need to achieve. You've obviously heard from myself, but our leadership team also consists of Natalia Pereira, who's our Innovation Director and who has been monitoring today's content. But uh, what we'd like to do to demonstrate uh, that linkage between success and strategy is to provide an offer around uh, our marketing self-assessment. This is a new product that we're in the process of launching. It normally retails for about $550. But if you email me your details, then we'll gladly provide you with a free opportunity to uh, actually complete that marketing self-assessment. And that enables you to actually work through a number of elements that uh, we've covered through today's presentation. Great, thank you. Um, now we have a question from Trudy. So it's more in relation to um, a query regarding market sizing and competitors. So how can Trudy find out revenue levels of her competitors when they are um, portrayed to be limited um, because they don't actually publish their results? A lot of that uh, comes to address uh, broader ind industry research, so understanding what uh, average turnover tends to be, but also then looking at uh, some of those specifics as well. And look, some of that can just come down to specific uh, competitive research. You know, as part of a marketing plan, you may actually want to uh, look, uh, may actually want to contact those competitors directly and gain an insight into what their revenue levels are. Uh, we actually worked with uh, a not-for-profit social enterprise that was in the process of launching a not-for-profit real estate agency. And we actually undertook some of that direct competitor analysis. And we were able to gain some insights into what those uh, turnover levels were and those revenue levels were. And also their overall sales process. And that was able to inform us in terms of targets and the sales process that this new agency would need to provide. It's actually one of the questions that is answered through the marketing self-assessment as well. Any other questions? I see a few people typing. Uh, Miriam, yes, slides will be made available. And please feel free to send uh, your details to me directly and uh, I'll make sure that they're directly available. Redback will also make uh, the audio presentation components available as well. That's correct. So just keep a lookout within your inbox over the next 48 hours um, for that email and you will actually receive um, a recording, a PDF version of the slides and then also the contact details for Alex um, and the guys over at Syndica Marketing. And uh, yes, please do feel free to contact us. Uh, the marketing self-assessment is definitely available. It allow you to uh, actually develop a lot of the theory that we've discussed in today's webinar and enable you to start documenting uh, each of those aspects. I see there's a couple of questions uh, cycling through, so we should have time for one more. Yeah, I think they're just in relation to the slides and the download. Um, but if anyone does have any questions, um, we tend to find once people leave webinars, they tend to think of questions over the next 24 to 48 hours. Um, so please feel free to let us know and we can direct you straight to Alex um, or you have his details. Um, and you know, I'd just like to thank Alex um, for his time today and Seneca Marketing. Always great insights from you guys over there. Um, and as you know, um, both Seneca Marketing and Redback Conference can support um, all of our charities and not-for-profits. And he's just a few links to our um, charity spotlight for June, which is Red Kite and their Workplace Giving Month. Um, so we encourage you to take a look at their site, what they're all about, and to get involved. Um, great cause, um, and we like to support them as much as possible, so hopefully you can all get on board as well. Um, so John's just mentioned something on self-assessment, marketing self-assessment. So can we just go back to that slide before we leave, Alex? Certainly. There it is. Excellent. I've also um, included my email address in the comments. Uh, basically, that self-assessment will let you uh, complete each of the sections that we have developed uh, today in today's presentation. Excellent. It will provide a good reinforcement to uh, each, of the, each of the slides that have been delivered and enable you to start putting uh, some of those thoughts onto paper. The hardest uh, place to start with marketing is actually documenting those thoughts. Often they'll be in our heads, 
This uh, is a tool that enables you to start documenting it and to start enabling that collaborative process with other areas of your organisation. Um, that brings us to the end. So thank you everyone for joining um, and thank you everyone for being so interactive and engaged within today's session. Um, we do hope to see you at future sessions so keep a look out for those invitations. And thank you Alex once again and enjoy the rest of your day everybody. Always a pleasure. My email address uh, is included in the comments so happy to take uh, other questions as well. Thanks everybody. In the case of uh, all the questions being thought of after the presentation concludes. So please keep the communications going. Uh -huh. Part of what we want to do is uh, expand uh, the discussion around what marketing is and enable organisations to uh, gain a greater insight into how marketing can actually be utilised. So feel free to keep the conversation going. Thanks everybody. Have a great day.